Hey guys, it's Juice here. I am here to film a new video for you guys today. Today we are going back to my regular content and I say that because my Monday video for this week was my author interview with Mr. Travis Pond and I just want to say a huge thank you to letting me interview you for your debut novel. I cannot wait to interview you again for your sophomore novel aka your second book in that trilogy. Um, the Oracle Sphere by Travis Pond is out now. I'll leave a link to it, that Amazon uh, link down below. And today's un video is some unboxing. I'm so excited. My owl crate was supposed to be here on, um, this is the owl crate box for the month of December. We'll open this last, so I will put this up right here behind me and then we have my Barnes and Noble order I bought some books off of Barnes and Noble website and it was very dangerous for me to do that because I only got three books in this but um, what am I doing I only got three books in this but I still kind of went over my price um, but I did use one of the coupons that they had on their website so let's open this guy up and see I know what these three books are and I'm super excited um, hopefully these aren't damaged because I never order anything from Barnes & Noble's website before so we'll see how good their packaging is Ooh. yikes <gasps> I see them. So this is the receipt, which we don't need to look at. <laughs> Ooh, they're so pretty. So we have first book on top, which is a little damaged, but that's okay. What's this all this dirt? Oh well. And that is A Torching in Tonight by Saba Tahir, which I read earlier this year. I think I read it in October. And I really love this reread. I gave this one like a 5 out of 5 stars. This is definitely a new favorite series. And so because I read this one earlier this year, I decided to pick up a Reaper. Oh, see that rip? No, no, no. Anyways, this is a Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. This is the second and third book in the Ember Quartet series. I just bought book four from... For our read along but I was a book behind so I had this one checked out from the library for a long time and I just never got around to reading it so I bought myself a copy and I might have to return this um, when I go book shopping this weekend because look at that big tear I don't like that <laughs> um, I love these new covers I kind of wish this one was in hardcover just to match with the rest of the series because I have book one in hardcover and book three and four in hardcover and it just kind of bugs me a little. Um, I am so excited to finally have my hands on a Reaper at the Gates. Oh my god, it's been so many years. I'm actually planning on buddy reading this with one of my friends. Um, so real excited. These are the first two books in this haul. It's a unboxing slash haul video today. So they're gorgeous. Look at them. And then this next book, hopefully it's not damaged. It's not. Yay. Is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I read this series when it first came out and I loved it. This is like the 10th anniversary edition that they came out recently. They, you can either get it in hardcover for the 10th anniversary edition or paperback. And the paperback I got because A, it's cheaper and B, I just love reading paperback more than hardcover. Um, this is a very old series. Like I said, it's like 10 years old. But I, this is like one of the series that I want to reread in um 2021 which i have a video of you guys for you guys coming soon talking about my favorite books of 2020 my worst books of 2020 my books i want to reread in 2020 all those like end of the year videos that we see all year long um but yeah if you guys haven't read this yet it's just such a great like fey story um once upon a team <laughs> Let me start that over. Once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Around the world, black handprints appear are appearing on doorways, scorched their 
by winged stranger who have crept through the ice lit in the sky. And in the tangled lanes of Peru, a young artist named Karu is about to be caught up in a brutal otherworldly war. So that's like the back of the summary in case you guys haven't read this yet. Um, I love Lainey Taylor. I'll be adding this into my red collection, which is actually right here. But this is a black copy of the spine, so it would actually go on my shelf over there. Anyways, I love Lainey Taylor. Y'all know this. If you don't, I am in love with this. And I can't wait to get the other two books in this trilogy and hopefully reread it. Because look at this, this gorgeous cover. So yeah, real excited to have this in my hands. And I got this as a Christmas gift to myself because I know nobody else would give it to me. So I got it. <laughs> That sounds like really, what's that word? Selfish. <laughs> so now we going, oh, did not mean for that to drop. And now we're going on to my Owl Crate unboxing. I think I know what the book of the month is for the month of Owl Crate. We'll see if my prediction is right. Oof, I can't do this one handed. Come on. There we go. What is on top? Spoiler card. So the theme for this is love is a battlefield. Look at this gorgeous card. I'm not going to look at this because spoilers. Um, I have a guess of what the book is and I think it's These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. So if it is, I'll be really excited for that. Oh, wait. That's gonna fall. So let's see. Ooh. So first item off the bat we have. What are these? Dam and Chasers leg warmers. Interesting. Perfect time for like December because it's definitely the cold months here. These are leg warmers. So, um, what does that say? I don't know what this says. Our lives reflect. Our hearts is what it says. You can't really see it, but hopefully that will focus. These are nice. I probably won't use these, to be honest. Um, so I might give these to my friend Taylor and see if she will use leg warmers, because I know I won't. Next I see, let's remove some fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Next I see, ooh, and candle. I forgot there was gonna be a candle, so. Fiction Bath Company made this, and it says Ice and Shadows, Peppermint Woods Hand Cream. Oh, it's a hand cream. Peppermint Woods Hand Cream Owl Crate Exclusive, 2 ounces and 16 millimeters. Let's see if I can get this open. Unless there's a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, that does smell good, so... I won't be tilting this because I have books in front of me, but this is definitely a hand cream. It smells really amazing. Uh, might be using this, it might not, I don't know. I have some on my hand. Oh, oh yes, it smells really, really good. I might use this then, but this is what the uh, top of the hand cream is. I honestly thought this was a candle. <laughs> we love that. A little embarrassment on camera for you guys. Um, next I see is a monthly pen and we got, yep, I knew it. So the pen kind of spoils it and that is, it says these violent delights have violent ends. So gorgeous and definitely know what the book is now that it says so on the, on the pen. I don't know what words are today because I'm so tired from work. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, it just falls right out. Um, so here it is out of its packaging. So pretty. So yeah, I love it. I will definitely be adding it to my little pen collectors I have over here. Next I see is this brown envelope that has an Owl Crate exclusive sticker on. Juniper and Design, Ivory Designs Company made this, so we'll see. Let's look what this is. 
All these reactions are in real time, by the way, because um, I didn't look at any unboxing of it this month's box yet. So, let's see. Oh, I knew they were going to do one. So, this was an ornament. Um, I don't know what it says. It says, some things do not have to be said. Love speaks for itself. Aww, such a pretty quote. So, hopefully... Our dogs won't chew on this, but this is the ornament that they always do in the December box. If you can read that, I don't know if it will let you focus on it at all. No. Um, this is really cool. I will definitely be hanging this on my tree next year because we already decorated our tree for this year. That's really cute. I love that. And it's like a little time, like a watch. Um, so moving on i see we got a puzzle which i'm not a big fan of puzzles but if i'm ever bored i might do i'll create exclusive 300 pieces elizas and lila puzzle i just talked about the amber quartet series nice so this is a elizas and lila puzzle it says dance under the stars with lila and elias at the enchanting moon festival with this 300 piece jigsaw puzzle work by tiara lahumi I probably read you that. I'm so sorry. Um, this is what the back says. It's going to be backwards for you. But yeah, it's a puzzle and 300 pieces are in here, hopefully. Um, yeah, literally. Oh, this artwork is pretty. That's the artwork on the inside. It's the same as the out. So yeah, we got all these little puzzle pieces that I can do over my little break from work that I have. Um, yeah, I might actually work on this while trying to finish up a few more books for the month of December because I need something to do other than coloring, so now I got a puzzle. Yay! Thank you, Owl. Great. So, next we have... Hopefully that doesn't fall. Next we have this green box. Um, a decorative rolling pin. Use this embossed rolling pin to add beautiful white wintry decorative elements to your sugar cookies, gingerbread, and icing. Designed with love by Michelle Gray. Hand wash only. Do not microwave. Yeah, do not microwave and do not freeze. Oh, I don't know what this looks like, but I'm already excited because I love making cookies. Oh, so there's little symbols and such. It's going to be really hard to see on camera, but this is like the rolling pin. So like if I make cookies, you can like roll it out, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll use this, so I might give this to my mom because she makes a lot of stuff. So that's cool. And then we have the book, and it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. I was so right about this. So we have These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I already talked about this book on my channel quite a few times already, I feel like. Um, so this is a... I'm trying to talk and open this at the same time. This is a YA debut fantasy novel set in Shanghai, 1926. And it's a... If I'm not mistaken, a Romeo and Juliet um, retelling. Oh my god, can I open it? Ow. I cannot open this. Hold on. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But like I was saying, These Violent Delights is a 19, set in 1926 Shanghai. Um, Romeo and Juliet retelling and I'm actually spoiler alert reading this for the month of January so this was already on my TBR this was actually on my TBR for December but I haven't got to it yet so now I have two copies so gorgeous this is the I'll create exclusive this has like green more green on it than it does black um, and they changed the colors like the title is in gold so this is really cool um let's see yep 
and it's signed by Chloe Gong and I don't think there's anything else. Um, I don't know if there's anything underneath. Oh yes. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Another reversible dust jacket that my friend Taylor would have to make. Look at that. Oh my God, so pretty. Look at this. So yeah, I'm so excited. Also, the naked hardcover of this book. Look at that. So cool. Um, yeah, so I do have two copies of this, but I will be giving one of them away to my friend Taylor, who I'm seeing the day after Christmas, which is crazy that Christmas is this week. Um, but yeah, the book for December was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, and I'm real excited for this. Also, there's an owl crate uh, letter. It says, when I was writing this book, I daydream about all the ways that it might find its readers. On the shelves of the library, picked up by 18 as they browse after school. On a display in store, its spine hidden in the stacks just waiting to be found. Or perhaps instead, by a mysterious magic, the book materializing on a reader's pillow out of the blue. With the the sound of crashing blades and the smell of blood. Coming to you in an owl crate box is about the closest equivalent to magic I could imagine, just perhaps less mysterious. I'm delighted to be sharing with you the world of these violent light. It is a story near and dear to my heart and is in grieving it and in giving it to you, I hope you, the glittering bloody world is a place that you will stay a while in too. Well, love by Chloe. Um, so yeah, this sounds really amazing. It's been on my radar since I heard about it. And I have two copies of it now. So, um, yay. And I will be reading this in the month of January. Spoiler alert for my special January TBR. Um, but yeah, this is the book, and I think that was everything in this box. Um, the book was pretty, so this is the spoiler card again, but not card, but pamphlet. It says, if you like these Violent Delight, try these great read, Romian and Joel, uh, Dissonant of the Crane, and Wicked Fox. I actually have Wicked Fox on my TBR shelf, and I haven't read that one yet, so... Here's what the original cover looks like compared to the one we have. Um, and yeah, I'm real excited and super happy that this was in the box. Because this would also on my wish list. So, and then it says other exciting books were, other releases we're excited about this month is The Curse of Roses. The Bitter Wine Oath. The Cousin and A Sky Beyond Storm, which I just talked about in this video. Um, and then The Owl Babble with Chloe Gone will be on January 29th at 4 p.m. PST and 7 p.m. Eastern. I love watching those. And then I'll leave all this page information down below in case you guys don't have an owl crate but that you want to watch The Owl Babble. So, yay! I'm so excited for this. Um, this box was a really well done box. I honestly think this box was a lot better than last month's box, not to be rude. Um, the theme for January box is the, from Olympus with Love, and it says every January box will include an item from In the Reads. P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically be renewed. So yeah, it looks like we're going to get bookmarks next month, so that's really exciting. You can never go wrong with a good bookmark. Um, but yeah. I already know what the book is for this. Um, my guess, I'm gonna guess it right now. My guess for this, for January, since it's Olympus, it's not the middle grade book that's coming out from Rick Riordan because it's middle grade. I'm gonna guess it's The Lore by Alexandra Bracken or there's just like another Greek mythology book that comes out next month that I am unaware of. My guess is Lore, just by the way they're photos are and such so I'm gonna guess it's Lore by Alexandra Bracken which is also on my Amazon wish list so Owl Crate thank you um, 
And with that said, I will be wrapping up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. That was everything in the box, everything in my Barnes & Noble box. I will sadly be returning my copy of A Reaper at the Gates to get a new one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you read any of these books down below and which one of these I should read first. Either These Violent Delights or A Reaper at the Gates. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.